Hey guys, it's cooking with Chris. All right, here we are back in the hotel. Uh, you know, I figured uh, why don't I give some more things a try with the iron. So we have the iron already set up and uh, running pretty hot at the moment. Um, I thought, what would be something new and interesting to try? Um, of course, uh, you know, have some aluminum foil. Um, so I stopped over at the store and I thought, you know what would probably be pretty easy and fun is uh, some ballpark Angus beef franks, bun size. I don't know if you could see that there, but there we go. Uh, so I could easily wrap these in foil and, you know, heat them up in the foil. But, you know, sometimes you want that uh, that grill look, you know, where it puts the lines on it, things like that. So I thought, um, I'm just going to go straight to the iron and, uh, you know, just try it right on the iron. Now, I did clean the iron, uh, so we'll see, uh, we'll see how this works. I figure this will be the least of the messiest things that we can try. All right, now that we've switched the camera direction, I thought, you know, lay out the foil like I did. And just put the hot dogs right down on the foil. Again, I could wrap the hot dogs. I think it would work completely fine. So I want to try to get this. Uh, uh, it's hard to see. There you go. That nice pattern on the uh, the hot dog. So, uh, you know, quite straightforward. I'm just going to put it down on the dog. Wow, you hear that sizzling already. Let's see what this does here. I think I need to leave it there for, uh, you know, a few moments, a few minutes. Try to get those uh, marks in there. Let's see what that's doing. Oh yeah, look at that. You can start to see the marks quite perfectly. Uh, we need to rotate our dogs. I think the best way to do that is take our, our iron here and just, uh, let's see. There we go. That's quite perfect. Just rotate them with the iron. Yeah, I'm going to do some of that side. Just place the iron back on there again. And let it sizzle. Oh, there's a lot of hot dog stuck. There we go. Oh, yeah, I'm getting some nice marks on that. Yeah, try to flip that one. Yeah, move that one closer. And move those that side. And then just sizzle them. And at this point, I'm probably going to just speed through the rest of this and uh, we'll let you know how long it takes. All right, and there we have it. I think these dogs are done. Now, to be nice to the next person, I'm definitely uh, in the hotel here. I'm definitely going to clean out this iron. Uh, of course, the first thing I can do is just, uh, you know, take some of that and wipe that on the towel there. Uh, but we'll definitely clean that off later. All right, I'm going to go to uh, preparing these, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll check back uh, on these in just a second. All right, so I finished up my hot dogs and uh, just going to put them on the buns here and, you know, give you a good look at them see what you think. Here are the finished hot dogs. So you have a nice iron uh, pattern on them like I, like I wanted. And uh, they are quite warm, actually. Uh, you know, I'd say a perfect temperature for eating. So I have uh, some buns ready and some ketchup packets, which I... Uh, found, uh, you know, uh, downstairs at the hotel, uh, you know, to kind of a to-go thing. So I figured, why not? Uh, perfect uh, solution. So we'll just put one of these dogs in the roll and try to open up a ketchup packet one-handed. That's not going to happen. Set in the phone down for a second. 
Okay, I got my ketchup packets pre-opened now, and uh, so I prefer, uh, sorry about the shadow there, I prefer a nice little zigzag pattern on the uh, the dog. Yeah. Or, you know, plopping ketchup every every so often. Yeah, that works too. You know, it's a lot easier with a ketchup bottle, but it is what it is. And, uh, yeah, maybe half of another packet. Yeah, it works. All right, so we're going to give this hot dog a try. And I want to point out they did say bun size. I would say that is bun size. So. Yeah. That's a fine cooked hot dog. You yeah. know. Don't think I could have done any better. Well, maybe with the torch, but. Yeah. Uh, it works out quite well. I don't think I'm going to do this at home because. Really, I don't want to own an iron. I don't have any desire to iron anything. So, maybe just down the road. And, uh, yeah, I think that's about it.